what's going on with Mass Gang? So, uh, y'all probably wondering why I'm in BJ's room, but it's the only way that I can get away from Alec for a little bit. So these last couple of months have been, I don't want to say stressful, but it's been pretty busy and we've had to be like kind of on a strict, a strict regimen for everything. Like we just really had to cut back this month for things that are coming down in the future. And I think our last like real trip where we got to like relax was Atlanta Gatlinburg. And honestly, that wasn't even like relaxing. We were busy doing stuff with family and then we ended up, you know, having a good time, like partying with friends, which isn't relaxing. You know what I mean? It's a good time, but it's not relaxing. So I'm going to surprise him with a little weekend getaway kind of thing. Like I said, we are saving money. We are working towards a goal. So um, I picked up a trip. Um, so three day trip, we one leg to Santo Domingo and then one leg back home on Sunday. So that today's Friday, we have all day Saturday. So he doesn't know it yet, but I'm, I'm gonna tell him to pack a bag because I know we don't have anything planned this weekend. BJ's with his mom. So I'm going to surprise him with a little flight attendant getaway, um, free hotel, breakfast, everything is like included. It's a really nice hotel from what I've heard. I've never been. So I'm excited to tell him about it. And hopefully his reaction is a good one because I don't know how he feels about surprises nowadays. Like I've been surprising him enough. So I don't. I hope I don't give him a heart attack with this one, but we'll see. Hi. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing this weekend? Huh? What are you doing this weekend? Nothing. You sure? Why? What are we doing this weekend? Um, pack a bag for two days. I was just gonna ask for how long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we going? Well, you want to see when we get to the airport? <laughs> Why you can't just tell me? <laughs> I need to know what to buy. <laughs> okay, hints. Um, water. Okay. Uh, island. Okay, island that I've been to before. Neither one of us have been. We're not going to Jamaica. Okay. Okay. Just pack. Hurry up. I'm with it. I'm not, when are we leaving? <laughs> Tonight. We have four hours. Shit. All right. <laughs> so, I'm all packed because the only information that I was privy to was that we were going somewhere tropical um, because he had me pack trunks and all of that too. So, um, I mean, I'm kind of racking my brain because it's somewhere that neither of us have been. Um, I've been to a couple places in the Caribbean. So, been to Trinidad, Barbados, um, Grenada, Curacao, um, Jamaica, of course. So, it's none of those. But yeah, I don't know why he can't just tell me. I mean, so normally he would book the flight and then he would just send me my boarding pass um, because we both go through different routes at the airport because he is going through staff. And then, of course, I'm a regular civilian. So I, I have to figure it out in a couple hours anyway. We are getting ready now. So he's in the shower and then I'm going to hop in there when he's finished. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll, I'll find out in just a few. But yeah, I just want to know. <laughs> So I just made it to the airport and of course Brian had to send me my boarding pass and so now I know where it is that we're going. Uh, well, I'm gonna wait on until, until this goes. Yes, so drum roll. Da, 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 da. We are going to the Dominican Republic. Vamos a República Dominicana. <laughs> Hopefully my Spanish wasn't too bad just now. Um, but I have to fill out a form before it is that I check in. So I'm about to scan that now so I can fill it out. Because um, I have to get checked in. Whenever I do international flights, trying to check in online doesn't, doesn't ever work for me. So 
I'm gonna do that now and hit you back up later. Look who I found. Right? Yes. You found me in my cut. <laughs> right? So, um, TSA was a breeze today. Um, checking in, though, like a family of 13 just slipped right in front of me. So, checking in took a while. What were you going to say? I went through KCM, so it was a breeze for me to Of course, easy but, for you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's not always the case, though. Sometimes I get random and I have to go through TSA. Mm, okay. We check. Are you excited to go to Dominican Republic? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm looking forward to a day of just like chilling, relaxing, having a good time. Um, we have never like actually chilled at the hotel that he mm -hmm. stayed at because I don't think we've ever stayed at like resort like hotels yeah. before. Um, the last time we've ever really been to a hotel was like just to have fun was for his birthday. In 2021? Oh, 2021? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this will be nice. It'll be a nice getaway. Mm -hmm. Don't know, um, we don't have to do anything. We can just relax and chill out. Yep, yep, yep. I am looking forward to it. Yeah. But we, our flight is delayed. So it's not coming, well, we're not leaving until what, 12 16 a.m.? Yeah. So that 24 hour time period that we're gonna get. Well, it's. So the original layover was 28 hours. Uh -huh. So we're down to 26, so we still get 24 hours. Okay, all right. Well, I guess it won't change much. It's just that we're gonna reach in pretty late and I'm sure by the time we get in, it's just gonna be sleep mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Start the day anew tomorrow. But I'm gonna let him get back to his coworkers because he just followed me to go and buy some waters. And yeah, we'll see you when I board the plane. Bye. So it's now around 11.55 and they're just now starting boarding. So finally gonna go on. Um, normally I would non-rev when it is that we're going to like other cities, but um, this flight was oversold, which is very common for the flights, especially in the night, like if it's the last flight out for the day. So we made sure to buy this, so I had a confirmed seat. So I don't have to worry today as to whether or not I'm actually gonna get on. So probably in the next 10 minutes or so, um, I'll finally be on the plane and then another 30 minutes we'll push back and we'll be on our way to DR. Right then. Also, if you're sitting next to a window shade, please make sure that those window shades are open. Once again, we need all the For your safety and the safety of those around you, please keep your seatbelt fastened at all times while seated. Three hours later. It is now 6.33. What time were we supposed to originally reach here? Uh, 1, no, 12. 12 so we're 
this was beer from 12 something like right after midnight and it's now 6 33 so it already has started um, a little bit delayed however we are gonna make the most of the day like as soon as we get to the hotel I know breakfast is supposed to be available so we're probably gonna do that as soon as we get there yeah. I've gotten a little nap in on the plane so I'm sure Brian is gonna need one as soon as we eat yeah. yeah and then we'll actually get our day started but yeah so far so good um, definitely feels very Caribbean and feels very at home to me really yeah it does like and then I love the fact that coming out to the airport um, it's just all coastline so it's a pity we didn't get to see it like when it was light out yeah but I'm excited for what the next 24 hours hold exactly 24 hours yes because this time tomorrow morning we're gonna be back at the airport mm -hmm. yeah but anyhow we are on our way to the hotel and we will check in with you there so see you in a bit in and in the room Brian has gone to take a shower um, we had a lot of um, a little it was kind of difficult to get here like every time the GPS was telling us where to turn they had like barricades blocking off this entire street um, right across from the hotel they have like a boardwalk and it's right by the sea um, and they have like a whole lot of shops lining that street so we're not sure like the way the barricades are set up it looks like when you know how they set up how they block off roads for like 5k's or for like events that's what it looked like so I'm not sure if something is happening of significance this weekend um, but yeah we'll probably try and see if we can figure that out later but I am here taking in the beautiful view that we can see the sea and then um, the fact that we came in at this time of the morning, like we're actually able to see sunrise and like it's right there on the horizon. We're overlooking the water. So I'm going to show you that beautiful view. And of course, I'm going to do the little customer room tour. It's nothing too fancy. Um, but the hotel is really nice. It's beautiful. Just walking through the lobby, um, I caught just a couple of the things that I saw there. Um, so I can only imagine what the rest of the hotel looks like. But yeah, let me show you this wonderful view though. There's a view. Ta-da! Look at that, man. It's so beautiful. See, if anybody knows me, they know that that's the water, the sea, has my heart.
hello guys so i just got up from my nap um yeah because we were really really tired after so many delays and literally coming in the morning that we were hoping to have the entire day so i just got up showered and i'm out checking out the rest of the hotel while brian gets like another hour in um yeah because as i told you i was able to like be in and out of sleep on the plane and of course he is not able to because he would have been working so i am here now trying to see what the pool looks like um and i get like such a great view of the lobby from up here and it is even more amazing seeing it from an aerial view but yeah just gonna spend a few minutes here and then head back up to the room grab brian so that we can then head outside the hotel to look for some lunch see if we can get some real dominican food and yeah just make the most of the few hours that we have here because right now it is a little after 12 and we have to finish everything that we're doing by about 8 p.m tonight they're about to give him enough time to rest up for his early morning show so yeah let's check it out <laughs> to explore the hotel and I'm still in the bed I am exhausted guys um yeah man that delay kind of took everything out of me I was supposed to be here six hours before what I actually you know when I actually made it but I'm glad we're here um Alex said he'll give me like an extra hour to get some sleep so I can kind of catch up to where he is and then we will explore Santa Domingo. But until then, I am going to get me some more sleep. So I will see you and him in about 40 minutes. So I was just taking a walk around the hotel just to kind of figure what was around. Um, and also because, you know, the water is directly across. So when I was doing that, somebody stopped me. Um, Thankfully, I know like just a tiny bit of Spanish and then it seems like most of the people here do know some level of English as well. So he just started cleaning my shoes, which I mean, I come from Jamaica, so I know what the hustle is like and we kind of experience something similar in Colombia as well. Um, but yeah, he just started cleaning my shoes without asking. I'm like, no, 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 no. Which is why I don't walk around with cash because that is like my automatic excuse to not be hustled. <laughs> but anyhow, um, he showed me where the supermarket was and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna buy a beer. And I bought one for me, bought one for Brian, and I bought one for him as well. So he left today with a beer. At least he can say that. Yeah, but he was really nice. He told me what was happening. Um, I hope the breeze is not too bad. He told me why the road is blocked off because apparently they're having carnival here tomorrow. So that should be exciting. Unfortunately, we're gonna miss out on that though. But I'm gonna bring this back up to Brian in the room. And then, yeah, we'll just have a little one drink uh, before we go exploring together. Hey guys. Um, so I'm back in the hotel room. We've been in here for, I mean, I've been back for like, what, 45 minutes? They're about now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, it's been quite eventful since I've been back. Um, well. Yeah, tell me a bit. 
<laughs> so we're here sitting in a room trying to decide what it is that we're going to do. Um, then we get a call from the lobby. I said, just see Brian on the phone and like they're going back and forth. And um, basically they tell him that they found a card at the front, like a debit card um, at the front desk that somebody came and delivered. It is my debit card that I lost in the parking lot of the hotel on my way back from the supermarket. So clearly, when I pulled up my phone to tell you about almost being hustled, <laughs> that I almost just lost all my money. <laughs> so then if I to avoid losing a couple of dollars, I almost lost everything. Yeah. Because, um, because I was like rushing to come out of the supermarket. And like go where I was going, like to make sure we parted ways. Mm -hmm. um, I just put the card straight into my pocket as opposed to putting it into my wallet. I didn't want to like pull up my wallet again walking out the store. Yeah, yeah. So, and then pulling out the phone to record this damn experience. <laughs> you no know, tight pants. Right. So you know, so it took everything out of the pocket. But she was so, so nice. She DM'd me on Instagram because she even, like, walked to a party that was close by because she wasn't sure if maybe I was a guest at the hotel. She recognized the card because the color, the, the, the bank name and everything, she also has an account there. So she's like, okay, this must be somebody that is, is, not from here. Yeah, that is currently living in America. So then she eventually came back to the Sheraton, which is also where she's staying. And she asked them there, do they have a guest that's staying here? They went on Facebook, on Instagram, found my pictures, found that I was connected to this yeah. one here. Mm -hmm. And then saw that I'm like a joint guest under his room. So there's still very, very good people out there, guys. Yeah. We have, you, yeah, very much so. Even took out an extra mile of like finding me on Instagram and DMing me. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I'm just very, very happy because that could have really mashed up the entire trip. Good thing I don't really have much money. In <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's close to the end of the month. Um, but yeah, I really, really count myself as blessed. Um, yeah, it hasn't even been eight hours for us here. And. You nearly get hustled. Mm -hmm. Nearly lose our money. Well, let's see what will happen in the next six hours that we have left to go. Let's do it. Let's get up and go. Yeah. All right, guys. So since his credit card debacle is over, we can finally make our way out. I'm up. As you see, I'm back. Yes, I'm alive. <laughs> um, we are about to go to Boca Chica or that area. There's a restaurant there called Central Pay. And my coworker was telling me about it. She actually lives here. And she said it was really nice food. It's like on the water. You can get in the water at the restaurant. So I want to check it out. Um, everything here is really cheap. It's like really inexpensive. She was telling me she got three entrees, a main course, two bottles of wine, a coffee, and some soft drinks. And she paid $200. She... And it, the entrees were like steak and lobster and, stuff, and type stuff. So she made it seem like it was a lot of money. To me, that was actually really cheap if you got pretty much four plates and all of that. So I'm excited to go check it out. Um, it's a 47 minute drive from where we are. So we need to get rolling. Uh, I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll see y'all over there. You know, Brian is coming from a miles per hour situation. Yeah. Um, and he was doing, what, 90 something? Mm -hmm. 90 something, but it honestly did not feel like that. 
and I honestly feel like it's one of them situations there where you're just the one that actually stopped. Yeah, because if I hadn't stopped, who was coming for me? Yeah, because I, I, I mean, if you see how everybody else on this highway is driving, it is ridiculous the way that they cut us off. Yeah. I mean, kind of normal to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of how they drive in Jamaica, but there's more lanes here, so there's more space. But yeah, I gotta take it in the middle of everybody. Yeah, so for me, you know, I thought it was just me that they saw, but clearly it's a two away or it's that transfer now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Get your bad juju off of me. Right? Like, we just want to get where we're going safely, so we're going to concentrate on the road and we will let you know once we actually reach. <laughs> so again, reasons we need to learn Spanish, I'll tell you in a little bit. <laughs> No? Hey, your beard catch everything, you know? <laughs> Boy, we couldn't get here fast enough, honestly. <laughs> couldn't get here fast enough. Um, but yeah, we have made it to Saint Tropez. That's the name of the restaurant. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. So I'm gonna give you some views of that. Per I mean, look at that backdrop. Look at that backdrop and then look at the beauty behind it. <laughs> yeah, so we are here trying to order food. The entire menu is in Spanish, but chicken wings is in English though. <laughs> so at least that, that's the universal language apparently. But we are trying to order something different than we would normally. Um, so I'm probably gonna get fish. You're leaning towards the fish too. I want to get some croquetas. You okay with that? Yeah. Which one you want? Because they have a few different options. But yeah, we are trying to figure this out. Um, Google Translate is our best friend at this moment in time. Because I also asked that none of the waitresses speak English either. But yeah, everybody has been super, super nice about it though, with the language barrier. Um, but yeah, the food looks good though. Like We're looking at the other tables and we're trying to use that to kind of gauge what it is that we're gonna get so that has been helping out as well but yeah let's show you some views of the place Cheers. A trip that is definitely memorable. You like it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get some more of that sauce. Damn. Chicken croquettes. Where is it? Yeah, that's where you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I want you clean off the fish, like how I clean chicken bones. Well, look. <laughs> you don't think you can do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the vibes at Saint Tropez restaurant are top tier, and the place is absolutely beautiful. We had a really good time. That's until they brought us our check. On the menu, which is entirely in Spanish, our meal is 1,200 Dominican pesos, which is a little less than 21 US dollars. So imagine our surprise when we see the bill and each plate was double that. Apparently, the fish is weighted and the waiters typically ask if you want a big fish or a small fish. 
but since we only spoke English and they only spoke Spanish, nobody was communicating. So they brought us the biggest fish they had in the bag. All in all, we'd come back. We'd just do it with somebody who spoke Spanish. Does it? Yeah, it feels safe for being on the beam. Yeah. Hey guys. So we just left Saint Tropez. Um, yeah, the food. I was very happy with the food and the place was beautiful. I feel like we got a little dupe though. Definitely. <laughs> so, and, and I mean, I guess it was fair. It said that it was like 1200. What is it? What's the currency here? Uh, Dominican pesos. Okay, so it was 1200 DP on the menu for the fish that we got. Fish. But it, in like asterisks, it said waiting. Uh huh. We get the bill and it was 1900 DP. Not even, it was really more. It would, I would have said 2000 just yeah. because when you look at it, like it's 19 and some change. And high change, like it's in the mm -hmm. So we ended up paying $124 for the two people for just the four liquor cricket balls, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the two things of fish we had a beer each and one bottle of water shared, right? So yeah. remember, I was telling you about the girl earlier. Well, she is Dominican, uh -huh. she's from here, so it makes sense as to why they wouldn't charge her what they charge a gringo. <laughs> but I don't know. If, <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm not a gringo. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I don't know if you're a gringo. <laughs> well, me. Somebody who clearly is not. A foreigner. Far. Yeah. yeah, a foreigner. Um, and I mean, outside of that, it also didn't help that we paid with a US card as opposed to cash. Yeah, actually paying it in cash. But even if we, they still would have given us the the higher price. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if we had paid in the Dominican pesos, at yeah. least we would have saved some money there. True. So that would have at least been better. But overall, though, I think the experience for us, like with the Spanish, because they none of them spoke a lick of English. Actually, there was one person that does, mm -hmm. but they sent him to the big table at sixteen that I was telling you about. So the that, white people that were there. Yeah, I didn't want to say it was the. Them. No, it was, a, it was a group of, of white people. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Yeah, so that's the table that the English speaking um, waiter was at. But everybody else, it was just straight Spanish. Uh, but we found a good workaround. Like a lot of the things on there, I could identify what the ingredients were in Spanish. So that was helpful. And then Brian now would actually just look up the pictures of what he wanted on the restaurant site and he would just show the man the picture or he would like google a picture of a bottle of water and show the man so that he knew um what it is that we wanted to order but again it was a wonderful experience like i don't think anything has really been a hundred percent going our way this trip but to be honest like we don't feel stressed about it not at all i mean the blessing is i was able to pay it without blinking an eye mm -hmm. Everything else, I mean, yeah, it happened, but it's, I'm still having a good time. You know? Yeah, it's and kind of like damn, right? Again, like this happened, mm -hmm. and it's one thing after the next. So, like, we just want to like, get back to the hotel. I don't think we're going to be moving very far out from the hotel for the rest of the evening because we're probably only we have, what three hours left to be out. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah, if so much. So, yeah, not a whole lot more day left for us, but it was definitely eventful. This feels like more than 24 hours. I am not mad at all. Well, I'm sorry the date wasn't everything, babe. Do you mean? No, I enjoyed it. Like, this is something I'm going to look back on and laugh at. I guarantee <laughs> you, I'm going to watch back this video and it's going to bring me back all the memories of today and I will still be happy. Good. Yeah. So, thank you. You're welcome. I enjoyed my date day. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, so, I will kiss you right now, but I don't want to Yeah, don't take your eyes off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways guys, no more distraction. We'll see you back at the hotel.
morning guys so it is now 4 15 a.m um we didn't do anything else last night after we came in we were just happy to be back and kind of decompress after the day and brian had some editing to do which he did um and yeah we were just tired after that and i mean to be honest time really didn't allow for us to do much more because as i said he had to go to sleep early knowing that he would have had work really early today so we're gonna leave for the airport in probably the next 15 to 20 minutes um so that i have enough time to go through my process and then for him his show time for work is like six something so we'll have time to return the car and everything before we head back to orlando yeah so it was a crazy 24 hours to say the least <laughs> it definitely was so i'm gonna get ready now and then we'll see you back at the airport so 429 sad to go uh. <laughs> if no, can you imagine if this was 24 hours if we had two days right. what I mean, it would be like the Dominican Republic is really nice mm -hmm. um, but I do want to get home yeah me too yeah. I'm good it was a wonderful 24 hours for me like I enjoyed it place was beautiful very very beautiful mm -hmm. but yeah again with the 24 hours we had it was rough uh -huh. alright let's go all good thing we came as early as we did I just got through TSA because um, after normally you go through the security bag check um, there was an additional stage like I had to go through passport control I'm leaving which I'm not used to and that was a huge line like an extremely long line because they basically I guess have to stamp out that you're actually leaving so if it is that you are leaving from the Dominican Republic just make sure to give yourself a good amount of time um yeah because our flight is at seven around there and we got here from like five so yeah the two hours is there for a reason so i have made it on the plane i literally had just enough time right before pre-boarding um yeah so on the way back home near the back exit doors in the event of an emergency follow flight attendant commands and leave everything Hello guys. Hey. Yes, yeah, so clearly we are back home from the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was your trip, sir? It was good. Was good? Mm -hmm. was e even with all of the the things that didn't go our way yeah um so mind you just to do a little roundup um i almost get scammed then you get a ticket then we drive into the wrong lane for like the toll um there's one where you're supposed to pay and then i guess there's one where you'd have like a tag on the car to be able to go through him asks me like which one am i supposed to go through i'm here looking up like trying to process spanish and he's like as soon as i'm going the wrong one i was like it's supposed to be over there <laughs> and then we ask the lady speak english and she just go ay dios mio <laughs> 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 
and then we went to the restaurant and got scammed there. Mm hmm. What else? What happened after that? After that, we were just oh, like, yeah, let's we just. We went to the room. Yeah, like, let's, let's, let's just get home. home. Let's just get home. Yeah. It was okay. Um, would I go back to Santo Domingo? Probably not without a group. Probably not at all. I don't really see the point because I've gone. It, mm -hmm. Done it. I would go to Punta Cana though. Mm -hmm. That's the touristy spot. That's where all the beaches are and all of that. So I would love to go there. I don't see a purpose in going back to SDQ. I mean, I personally would go to Santo Domingo again. Like, as you said, if it is that we went with um, locals who like could tell us or not tell us, bring us yeah. and be able to communicate on our behalf, even though I think we did pretty well. Yeah, we did good. Yeah, I, I think I we fared think, well. I don't know that there's anything else to do there. Mm -hmm. But then again, I'm not from there and nobody spoke the language. So I don't really know. Mm hmm. Yeah, but all in all, I think it was a great trip. I appreciated the spontaneity of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed as well. I kept this so you could frame it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here you go. Yes. <laughs> But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed our travel just as much as we did. Um, yeah, don't use our experience to judge whether or not you go to Santo Domingo. Um, it really was beautiful. And mm -hmm. again, like we did not have a bad experience. I think we just had a series of unfortunate events, but we still hands down really had an amazing time. Dominican Republic is beautiful. It is. Yeah. So. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please tell us what was your favorite part. And also, comment down below and let us know what you would have done in all of the situations that we were in. Yeah. Please share the video. And if you haven't done it already, for more travels to what? Subscribe. All right, guys. That's it from us. Until next time. Trying to sign me, yo.